Hey buds, it's Wednesday. After I found out what to the la. After I found out what this week's challenge was, I texted all of you girls and asked if you knew anything about science. Seeing as all of them were negative, I am hoping that this week's videos are going to be hilarious. So So I have only failed one class in my entire life, and that was the chemistry class I took my junior year of high school, and that is because my teacher was Severus Snape. You find that humorous, as do I, but that does not in any way mean that it is a joke. Uh, wow, I have not taken a science class since the, since 2008. I've not taken a science class to, since 2008. So really, that's pretty much all I know about science. I learned in my chemistry class, my astronomy semester, or my geology semester. All of those were just semesters, classes. And I remember, um, let me think about it. What well, in my astronomy class, what did I learn there? Astronomy, astronomy, astronomy. So a waning, a, a waxing moon is when it is growing to a full moon, and a waning moon is when it is uh, dissolving into a new moon. Wax on, wane off. So when the moon is waning, it is earlier it wane it shows up earlier in the sky but when it's waxing it shows up later in the sky so if you see a moon during the daytime it's waning if you see it during the nighttime it's waxing i think i think geology i learned that there's a rock i learned that Oh, uh, shit. Uh, this, there's this kind of volcano, and then there's, like, this kind of volcano. Joey, can you tell me some stuff about science? What do you need to know about science? Just anything. It's for a video, and it's, it's a science. Okay, that's like saying, tell me something about poetry. Yeah. Very broad. It is very broad. Uh, right now I'm talking about uh, geology. So you want to know something about geology? Can you be more specific? Yeah. We're, uh... Okay, here, no, the, whatever. Sure. The first thing, question. yeah, the first thing that comes to your mind. Alright, um, in geology, most people don't realize that rocks go through similar cycles like water does. So mm -hmm. you have the water in the ocean, the water from your skin, the water in the air, all kind of goes into one. You know what I mean? So you have evaporation, you have condensation, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Rocks go through the exact same process. Uh, whether it's sedimentary, mm -hmm. I remember all the different terms to be honest with Metamorphosis you. and uh, the one with an I that comes from lava. Sure. Point is, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that from, like you said, from magma, rock goes through this state, which turns into the next state, which mm -hmm. turns into the next state, yep. and then goes all the way back through. It does. And if you, if you look at the microcosm of the, of the universe in general, and say that the way that we look at everything is so stagnant because our life our lifespan is so short if you took a step back and looked at the universe from a more grand perspective we are the part of one larger organism in general if you look at um and how did the fuck did i go from <laughs> <laughs> if you look at uh string theory or the idea of I so wasn't ready for this conversation. If you look at string Me theory neither. or um, different parts of the way that uh, scientists are now looking at the universe when they're looking at like dark matter and the sort, mm -hmm. um, when they show what they believe the universe looks like, mm -hmm. it looks like a white blood cell. Mm. So take that and wrap your head around. Yeah, that's really cool. Also, one quick question, something I, I've, I've been wondering. What is the difference between dark matter and antimatter? I don't know. Okay. There you go. 
I'm honestly not sure. Um, I know that because like you can't have antimatter out there in the universe because if it reacts with matter then there's like explosions and death everywhere so the the they're, they're see seeing dark matter shows that it can exist in larger quantities than ant antimatter of course but i just want to know why what that is to be honest with you i'm not 100 percent sure um when i started looking into uh quantum physics as well as just uh physics in general you know what i mean trying to expand on it a little bit I got more into quantum physics than the idea of energy at a base level and how it affects us on a day-to-day -day basis. The idea that um, we assume that as I pick up this bag, I'm actually touching this bag. When in reality, there's no actual contact between are your atoms the bag. exactly. Mm -hmm. Only they never actually touch. So I spent more time legitimately contemplating that concept. And the idea that the only reason I'm picking up this bag or I'm able to move this bag or the fact that this bag is here is no more than an interpretation of energy through my consciousness. Yeah. I've thought about that sometimes too. Just like sitting somewhere and have nothing better to do and just be like, why can't I feel things? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why can't I feel things? Because our atoms will never be able to touch. But then what's in that in-between space between our atoms are that you causes me... My penis? Oh, sorry. I'm just... <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's like, uh, how's it? Going? Think about it, but don't think about it. How? What is between the atoms? Between gas molecules? Because the difference between a solid, a liquid, and a gas is the space between their atoms. What's in between those spaces? Nothing. And that's the, the situation. Yeah. The the. I actually have a movie that you can watch. I have two movies in there. One of them is called What the Bleak Do You Know? Mm -hmm. And I forgot mm -hmm. the other one. Have you seen that yet? No, but one of my friends watches it. Yeah, watch that. Mm -hmm. it, it gives you... The coolest thing about that movie is that it sets it up so that for a person who has never had that kind of interest, who's never really wanted to, you know, to understand that or even thought about it, it puts it in a palatable form so they can, they can watch it and it's like, oh, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's well shot. It's well directed. It's a really good fucking movie. Honestly. All right. I've tried to get Stephanie to uh, Stephanie to sit it through it, but she'd fall asleep. Mm hmm Well, that was wonderful. You just helped me do my whole video. Your video on what? On uh, science. We have themes uh, every week, and this one uh, was science. And I, I was just sitting here telling about how I haven't had, you know, a science class since 2008, and, you know, trying to remember things, and then you walked in. Thank you. You can do cooking and some other stuff, too. Yeah, the science of cooking. But we're going to have that as a later theme. But shh, don't tell them. Don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Buddies, you will get your song next week. And Julia, I'll see you tomorrow.